Hello, and here I am with another Throwback Thursday review, and the rotation leads us to a Bonacle review, and today it is on uh, three of the Toa and Nike sets from 2006. So on the front of each booklet, see a picture of the set that there is, Shortish Bonacle logo and Nike logo, and the names of the character, and recommended 7 through 16 and the set number lego logo and as you see the background is like with a chain link fence and stormy and storm behind them and kind of a dark background because at this time bonacle was starting to get quite a bit more dark than, especially into the mari and whatnot probably why they had to end it in the first place it was getting more dark but also a bit in generation 2 as well uh, then yeah, this front page of which is how to remove it from the caster lid. And then on the back, add for all the Toa and Nike sets, which they also did with the Toa Mori sets. But also interesting is how it's like done in this kind of way rather than the set in the other kind of way. First time they did that and carried on with the until the Toa Mari sets. And then add for a uh, shop at home and Lego Club. Add for the Bonacle Heroes game and add for the Maze of Shows Game Boy Advance game and uh, Web of Shows movie. Add for the Bonacle website. Then add for Vizon and Fenrak. Then add for the two Titan sets, Axon and Butaka. And then add for all the play sets, of which, which as a little sneak peek for or next throw for the next few throwback Thursdays. And then add for all the Paraka sets and Voya Nui. And then how to replace the batteries in the weapons. And then how to put it back in the caster. But no combiner model instructions since, of course, the Paraka were the last ones to ever include instructions. And then the pieces that come with the set since this time is when they started doing these piece lists and then the last steps. So, first of which is the main flagship character, Matoro. So, for the feet, which, so just like the Paraka, uh, you know, where they introduced, where three had one kind of feet, and then the three others had another kind of feet. So, Matoros of which, which are the kind of spiky ones with little thing in the back, you know. But also, the Nike sets introduced these limb pieces, which, but in the 2009 uh, Gatorian Legends line, they added little shin guard pieces that wobble though. But interesting with the Anika sets is they still carried on the upper limb pieces, but Matoro and Jollers were the only ones to have translucent colors. Kind of interesting. Or quite cool as well. But they also introduced these kinds of armor pieces, almost like the Paraka ones, but a lot more smoothly rather than kind of spiky. Big for Matoros of which is like that three have one chest plate and three others have the other kind of chest plate oh, which see it's kind of narrow enough but although it of course altogether kind of a black torso piece without any gear functions and all but posability is what they were well known for but uh, also why I think the casters were flat is so you can fit it in easier, especially since it's more flat now. And as the limbs, as you see, has that. And also, first ones with these uh, kinds of armor pieces, which carry on for other years. Then I think most of which had the Vaki limbs for the arms, and just two other, just two, Jawler and Kongu had a uh, Metro limbs for the arms, of course, and as the weapons of which for Matoros and Hookies in particular were also used on uh, Umbra, of course, and tap the button. And, oh, it's supposed to light up. 
Uh, we'll see that on one of the other ones, but anyways. And as you see, the Xamarin Launcher, which is about the same as oh, whoops, most other ones, but except these extender pieces were added on, but a couple of which come with blue, and two came with uh, orange-red ones, and then two came with green ones, and matching the color of the strobe lights in the swords. But as for the heads of which, uh, let me take it off. Of course. As you see, it has one of those rod pieces that were most or least kinds of axle joints that were used for the Titan set and four long rod and and now the masks are different than other masks because as you see these head pieces which have a green and white kind of effect and the masks are soft rubber and which don't work with other masks and since of course the next year is when they switched back over to metru heads well until the Gatorian sets of 09 of course from a Toro's mask in particular, uh, quite unique and interesting. And well, uh, as you see, his torso piece is in silver. Well, but they did make it in white for the for Toa Mari Matoro, of course. About it for him. And now to leader of the Anika, uh, Jaller. It also has some translucent effect, but in but trans orange, of course. And why he has some gold to him. Why he's the only one with gold to him, since of course he's the leader of all. And then how he get it to fire is like the other ones, just so kind of which quite fun. At least until with the Mazika in two thousand eight, of course. But anyways, as for his mask, which also kind of similar to Matoro's, but with a lot of open space to them, showing some green, of course. But although did use a flamethrower in the Bonacle Heroes game, of course. Well, they had different weapons in the Bonacle Heroes game. And... Uh, yeah, I think that's it. And now to mine and many people's favorite one of which, Nuparu. And in general, Nuparu, of which one of my favorite Bonacle characters, since of course he built in 2002, built the box ward to fight off the Borok hordes, of course. But as for his feet, of which the like uh, other, oh, which finned kind. Yeah. And also has sort of a light gray to him. And the body is like all black kind of body. And that's for the and the limbs also quite the same, but except for his exceptions are these claw pieces, which did get reused on a few other sets, of course. But like without it then he'd be just kind of more basic. So I think this is when they started to branch off from clone sets. And as for his main weapon, which does have a uh, trans red uh, lightsaber rod on it, kind of like Hakan, the red Paraka, of course. And see, is his light? Yes. Does light. And you can do the lightsaber effect when you swish it. And don't know if you can if you notice that well on camera, of course. And then as for his Xamar Sphere launcher, it's mounted by a Hordika uh, headpiece, since coincidentally there were holes attached to it. So plenty of neat stuff that you can do with these torsos. But as for his uh, head or mask of which, which has a three pronged chin and also with a spiky mohawk hat and also a couple of spikes off to the side. And of course, although he of which 
got put was the one that was put on most covers like a thing with the band called the all american rejects saying free the band of course but also another neat thing that i and many like about this version of nuparu is that he was reviewed by Bonkle Reviews founder Nicknack 118 and link to that video will be in the description below and so you can check out where everything started from and also now for the Xamarin spheres is you kind of see they're all yellow of which whereas and it's the same case with Hukki is in the picture they are more red but although some of which did have red and some were like transitioned orange and red kind of color to them. And yeah. But also, Hukki also kind of standed out because he had a gunmetal gray and yellow instead of brown, and he had a chain to him, of course. And now, on to the final verdict. Overall, these of which, and if you thought the Paraka were quite revolutionary, these of which were a little bit farther of revolutionary. So I get, but also at this time, I, when YouTube was slowly introduced, then they, and there were kid, all the kids were making little stop motions and reviews on and everything. So the Anika, of which really, of which really is set the ground rolling. And of course, but also at this time, Lego it's, it themselves was truly picking up momentum of what they could bring out and whatnot. So, and of course, these were a bit of many people's favorite sets. And of course, what started really picking up mocking for many, and yeah. And if you still have these sets from back then, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who have it and still have access to these sets, then I'd say go ahead and get them, like eBay Bricklink, whatever. And thank you, Nicknack118, for introducing Bonacle Reviews. And that's about it with this video, and thanks for watching.